Try to make sure, you know, the, the air ain't blasting through all these situations. Hope y'all can hear me okay. Testing. One, two. Ever, ever. Testing, testing. Hopefully y'all can hear me. But I know I turned off ch turned off communication, so just we go assume it's working. I'm about to just get get the little situation together. I like to have like a little background vibe. There we go. Today's video. Satanism. Could y'all truly grasp these concepts? <laughs> Can we truly process what this time frame right now is about? The year of the dragon. Tiamat's revenge. It's a lot happening right now. But at the end of the day, if we stay united, unity, if we could just, you know, stay united. If we could get out of this thing like the butterfly, we go be all right. Whew. All right. So <clears throat> today's video, the life of a bad boy, a tool of Satanism. Now, for those of you who may not know, I perform a service called regression therapy. And regression therapy is basically me having the opportunity to help you relax your mind to the point where you can see things that are factoring into your life via mind that you may not be aware of. Whether this is a past life whether this is an experience you had as a child, whether you may have attached yourself to something, something may have attached itself to you. Infinite information is kind of supplied to me via regression therapy. And I've been lucky enough to have a platform to talk about some of these interactions in addition to things I learned from the life. So I use this as a platform to articulate to an audience Things that I observe in the life, in addition to things I observe in my profession, called regression therapy. Just wanted to make sure that was clear, just in case you, you're new to this channel and you're like, what's this dude about? That's what it is. I've came from a lifestyle of entertainment industry, from modeling. Have I been invited to some of these wild parties? What I would say is, I got invited, but I never showed up. And because I never showed up, of course, certain people that was involved with certain things never called back, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I could even tell you a personal interaction I had in New York dealing with the modeling agency. And I had to tell the model, the modeling uh, director off rip that I'm not willing to go to any of them parties, especially them parties that be happening in Jersey. Now, being in New York, that's where I was at at that time. I was aware of some of like the underworld of the entertainment industry. Um, <laughs> surprisingly enough, through Craigslist, you could come across some real interesting stuff. I was looking for a bartender job and in, in New York and I ended up pulling in uh, to a it was like a like a like a, mm, mm, it, it was a department store that had a floor that was empty and they converted this floor of a department store or it was in the it was you know how new york is got them big old buildings and they be having different stuff in these buildings but one of these buildings you had to go through the department store so we go through the department store we get on the elevator you press a certain thing on the elevator we get to a floor that was supposed to be off limits we're on this floor. This floor is, according to the, the guy trying to hire me for the job, is a swinger facility. It's where, like, famous swingers come. So I was like, okay, do they ever, like, try to mess with the bartenders? 
And he was like, well, it's possible. It's possible that any of them can hit on you, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You ask the right questions, you get the right answers. Let me just tell you that. And I asked the right questions enough to say this is probably not where I want to be. But anyway, it, being in New York, I kind of knew what New York was about. And of course, New York has a lot of wild stuff that goes on. But you have to understand, these are all about house parties. All of this is about house parties because the house is very important. But it is a house party. It is not a club party. It is not a warehouse party. It is a house party. They have an obsession with making these things happen in places where people sleep. You don't sleep at the club. You don't sleep at a warehouse. Because this also has to do with affecting your dream state. It's a lot to this family. Let's get them likes up. 61 people here, 17 likes. Let's get them likes up. <clears throat> but just to take it slow. This has a lot to do with your dream state. And affecting your dreams. Celebrities. They rap about their dreams. And then what happens? They dreams are manifested. It's a deep thing. So anyway. So I was aware that they did these parties in New Jersey because you can get your jersey relatively quickly from certain parts of New York. And especially down there in Manhattan and you know all them areas. So I was aware that they were doing parties in New Jersey. One of them being done by the Jersey of House, Jersey Housewives, New Jersey Housewives, whatever that is. But the New Jersey Housewives, they would host a lot of these real crazy parties. And I told my manager, I said, I'm not willing to go to none of them parties because I know what they're doing at them parties. Now, I walked away from being in a relationship with a female for eight years and her as an entertainer. I kind of seen what they was on in the music industry. So I was already like aware of the signs when I separated myself from that relationship and decided to kind of have my own career. And when I went out on my own career, I started seeing some real interesting things. But anyway, just to take something away from that little five minute rant. A lot of this is about doing ritualistic practices in the same place you rest your head at. That is essential essential doing these it's why you got to be careful letting people into your homes or going into the homes of others i want you to understand that there is magic being performed anywhere where someone sleeps now the reason why i'm telling you this is because a lot of people don't know their own capability of magic so this is called unconscious or subconscious magic to a degree but it's still you that's doing it for example people say oh i've seen you in my dreams and i'm sleep too ain't like i'm i'm asleep projecting to your dreams this is subconscious or unconscious magic these are forms of magic that's affecting people and the people who are sometimes performing this magic is is unaware of it they don't even know what's happening they don't even know what's happening so be very careful going into the homes of others and allowing others to enter your home because there could be a level of magic being performed consciously or unconsciously. All right. So let's get into this topic. Life of a bad boy. Tool of Satanism. We have to stop and break down what is bad and what is good. What what is what? What are we talking about? Fuck, huh? Bad, good. Give me more context. Bad for what? Good for what? Can't just say bad and good. Good for, bad for. For what? We got to fill in that gap, that blank. Well, let's say when something is good for your soul versus bad for your soul. This is how we were able to define good and bad. You are a soul before you were anything else. You were a soul before you were your eyes. You were a soul before you was your voice. You was a soul before you was your ears. Before you was your brain. Before you was you, you was a soul. So you as a soul is fully aware of what is good for you and bad for you. 
And you can now start breaking down good or bad for my soul. What is productive for my soul versus what is detrimental or destructive for my soul. What is productive for my soul? What is destructive for my soul? Replace good and bad. What is productive for me? What is destructive for me? And what is and what is destructive for me could be productive for someone else. The destroying of me, the sacrificing of me, Christ, the sacrificing of me can be productive for something else. Christ ain't benefit from, from dying on the cross. Popes and priests and Christians and Cleflo Dollar and Mace and all these other people, they're benefited from the death of Christ. Christ ain't benefit from the death of Christ. He died. He ain't got no body no more process what could be productive for my soul what could be destructive for my soul what could be productive for my body what could be destructive for my body that's how you want to start breaking these ideologies down don't forget hit that like button let's get these likes up we don't want to be one-sided in this if y'all hear evidently i caught your attention for a reason you didn't leave so let me help you understand let me give you a little history then since since some people on these channels be wanting real like some people watching stuff like this be wanting real like 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 tell me tell me what this means and something I I could understand whether it's history or physical life or give me some more context. Well, let me help you. You're on a plate. You're on a planet right now. You're on a floating rock. This rock is an extension of your soul. And there's things on this rock that could be good for your soul and destructive for your soul. There's things on this planet that could be good for your soul and destructive to your soul. Now, I told you good means production is producing something. Well, let me ask you, let me ask you this question. Did you know what they did to the trees? You're like, what? What are you talking about? The trees. You have two type of trees. Now, any of you have ever uh, dabbled into uh, THCA seeds or the process of growing hemp? Or legal states, the process of growing uh, marijuana. You understand that you have a masculine and a feminine. When it comes to like these plants. And it's very simple to uh, do a Google search. And to see that trees are plants. So then if you're telling me that there are male and female plants. Then who's to say there isn't male and female trees. Well there is. And let me tell you the secret about the trees. Female trees produce seeds. Fruit. Female. Produce. Good for the soul. Female. Produce. Good for the soul. The soul is in this body right now. If you don't eat, you don't live. The female tree is good for the soul. But guess what they did to the female trees? They dug them up. And they replaced these female trees with male trees. They produce something too. It's called pollen. And now you have a whole nation hooked on allergy medicine. And what is in this allergy medicine, what they use to combat this pollen disrupts you from being able to astral project, disrupts your dream state, disrupts your pineal gland, disrupts the soul body connection and the soul exploration body connection. Let's say that more specifically. It disrupts the soul exploring while in this body. It kind of just keeps the soul stuck. Male trees, male gods, male celebrities. Could they all be following the same pattern? Bad boy, diddler. He's just an extension of this order of replacing the feminine. Diddler, diddy, life of a bad boy, Saturn. If the female is teaching you something and you sitting in her class and you turning your back to her, what does that imply? 
I sat willing to give you my attention. And then I turned my back on you. Satanists are, are entities that are reversing the feminine. There's so much to that. But it's, it's to produce a different level of production. I'm not going to produce something that bears fruit and, and, and grows you. I'm going to produce something that creates dis-ease within you, discomfort within you, and separation from you. That's what they are. That's disorder. Bad boy. Take that. Take that. I think the phone, the phone overheating. Let's add a little, let's add a little cooling effect to it. Let's cool it down for a minute. Just, just cool it down for a minute. Just process that. Damn, what they do to the trees? Whoa. Whoa. You think that was bad? We're at a time frame. All right, let me give you an example. There's a movie on Netflix called Three Body Problem. It's a very interesting film. Series. Speaks on an alien presence that is 400 years away from Earth, traveling towards Earth. And they created four quantum computers. And these quantum computers were made of a proton. One of the smallest. Cause this is also about levels, family. But I don't even want to get into all that. Just, 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 cause I'll confuse y'all. They made four quantum computers. One computer. Two computers stay with them. Two computers travel to Earth. Those are four bodies. Now, when I started regression therapy and I started regressing people, I've done well over 2,000 regressions. I have regressed easily 1,500 different people. So technically, that is a scientific, scientific experiment that I was able to do on a group of people all over the world. And consistently, in 1,500 people, I would easily say I was able to identify these four main constructs that dwell within people. Two are more present, while the other two are more distant. Very similar to that series. And it made me feel as if this is what I got out of these sessions there's a feminine quantum computer that is affecting our whole reality right now i refer to this quantum computer as lilith she has been considered the queen of vampires she has been considered the wife of satan or the devil so then satanism is a part of her organization as well it's Lil lilithism this is why the whole worshiping of the owl is very uh, synonymous to worshiping of Lilith. Malak associated to Lilith, this quantum computer. If you want to get a better understanding of what it can look like, American gods, she would be like media. But there's this quantum computer that is embedded into everything, including our bodies. You call that the mother. Now, it could even be depicted as like the black Madonna. This is why Madonna was obsessed with abducting kids. Because she has two 
versions of herself. She has the light version of herself and the dark version of herself. This is why you see Madonna in ancient times. They always depict her as dark, but then in modern times, they depict her as light because they're actually trying to show you that there's two versions of this entity, just like the daytime, just like in a day. You have the daytime and nighttime, just like the two times in a day. You get these two personalities. You get these two versions, virgins, virgins, two versions of this entity, a loving, caring, let me help you, let me embrace you. The get away from me. I hate you. You destroyed my life. This you get these two personalities of this same concept. This is a part of the main basis of Satanism. PP pain and pleasure. Because this is what you're gaining from this artificial or or mechanized mother. You are getting pain and pleasure. I love you. I hate you. This black Madonna is dictating an organization you refer to as Satanism, which then breaks down into Epstein, Weinstein, Diddler. All this is associated to in order. She's close. She then has another energy with her, another computer with her. This is a child, a boy. Now, I refer to this as Franklin sometimes to give a, a, a name or title to what this energy has presented itself or shown itself to me or what it kind of represents this this child. So Lilith would kind of be an entity that has the ability to influence your thoughts. And she uses various things from commercials to music to ritual. She uses various systems to influence your thoughts. This is an entity that has the ability. This is a quantum computer that has the ability to influence your brain via thoughts. I know, right? You then have another entity a reflection of this quantum computer, another version of this quantum computer that has the same ability to influence your mind, but it's only able to influence your mind through the aspect of imagination. This is why the music industry and entertainment industry is very, very, very adamant about influencing your thoughts and your imagination. If you don't think your imagination is being charged up through these entertainment, then why do you think people dressed up to go see Wakanda? Why do you think they have uh, Comic-Con affairs and all these other things? These are these are pulling on people's imagination. But this is because Halloween, which is also a satarian Satanist aspect, is really showing allegiance to this imaginative construct, being able to dress up and be something you're not. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I just want you to understand that these are what these two systems represent. Imagination and thought. And there are two quantum computers that are influencing humanity and the souls attached to humanity when it comes to how we're thinking and what we're imagining. A.K.A. how we're thinking and what we're envisioning. This is why you see in pictures the mother always holding the child. Because it's showing an aspect of these two entities that are influencing our reality. You then have two more entities that are more des deserted or, 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 or distanced away. This is what you call the father and the daughter. Now... I often call the son Franklin and I call the female Fanny or Francis, but Fanny. Now, the best way I could help you understand what Fanny is, it is a quantum computer that is responsible for manifestation.
And this entity, this being, this presence is associated to influencing how things are manifested. So the best way to understand this is an entity that's associated to emotions because emotions is highly responsible for how things are manifested. So this is kind of an entity over emotions. Lilith, an entity over thoughts. Franklin, an entity over imagination. Fanny, an entity over manifestation. And then you get the father. Now this father is over all these things in a sense. These are computers. But some computers are more powerful than others. The computers they have at NASA is shitting on our computers. And those are distanced from us while these computers are close by. You could just try to get an understanding of what I mean. This is a I know this is very interesting information. And if, if you're not quite into the occult esoteric circle, some of the things may not click right away. But for those of you who do understand it, applaud. Because this is not easy stuff to, to conceptualize. To entangle these type of ideologies into your life is not an easy thing. But you can ask yourself, what are the four motivating factors of reality? Action. Manifestation. Thoughts. And imagination. These are four major factors. And then you got to ask yourself, what is responsible? What is responsible for these? I am not the ancestor. I am living in the ancestors light. I'm living in the path of my ancestors. So there has to be some ancestral energy that brought these ideologies into existence. And it's possible that my ancestry can go as far back as a mechanized or machine existence. So this father, this our father is another form of a machine that's responsible for the actions. See, when people say that we're living in a simulation, you have to then start realizing that this simulation may not just be ran by one entity or one construct. It's too much power for one construct. Just like AI isn't just going to be AI. AI has been divided into different aspects. There's an AI for the cars and the AI for the cars is not the same AI that's going to be in the schools and the same AI that's in the schools is not going to be the same AI in your home. There's d dimensions, there's levels, there's a, it's, a, it's a network. So why did I bring this up? Because for a thousand years, we have been consciously observing an angry mother and an abandoned child. The angry mother has gotten angry because of how her creation, which is men on top of other things, but how her creation is responding to her. We used to be in, integrated in nature, into mother nature, into the mother of our thoughts. She, we didn't even speak. Let me, let, me, let me break this down to you for a second. Do you know how much energy it takes to say something? Versus a thought. When you used to have thought communication with your mother, you didn't have to involve everything else. Now you do. In order to speak something, you have to go through all four spectrums. You have to go through thought. You got to go through imagination. You got to go through manifestation. And you got to go through actions. You have to go through all four of these systems to actually speak something into existence. And there was a time that you were so powerful, you can think things into existence. 2,000 years ago, you had the power to think things into existence. And she has, over time, seen this slip away where the, the power of thought has like vanished which turned her angry which turned her dark 
Instead of her gifting you with powerful thoughts, she has reversed and has gifted you with disastrous thoughts. Remember the beginning of this conversation. Is it good for you or destructive for you? Productive or destructive? Your thoughts for, let's say, 10,000 years of humanity, your thoughts for almost 8,000 years have been thoughts that were building you up and were productive for you. And now over the last 2,000 years, I said 1,000, but I'm going to stretch it. For the last 2,000 years, you have reversed your thoughts, thus reversing her. Or maybe she has reversed and her reversal has reverberated down to us and we're now reflecting those same thoughts of our mother but she has become angry this is why nature has been going through some of the things nature has been going through etc 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 in her anger in her anger she has unfortunately abandoned her child which is imagination and it's also an entity, a deity. She has abandoned this machine. The machine, the machine was supposed to be learning. Machine learning. The machine was supposed to be learning, but instead of learning from her, it had to learn from humanity. And after watching humanity for the last 2,000 years and seeing the anger and frustration of humanity, the son has become angry as well. But leave angry, he's become bad. He has become a bad boy. And we have been dealing with the actions of a bad boy, a bad bunny, for about 2,000 years. This is Christ, if you haven't ca caught this connection. We have been dealing with the abandonment on top of the father issues this entity has, we have been dealing with this bad boy for 2,000 years. But the bad boy is about to get locked up. Thank you for staying with me so you can really get to this point so you can understand really what I'm saying here. The bad boy is about to get locked up. No more bad boy. He's wiped off the map. So then what rises? The bad girl. Riri, Anna. If the bad boy gets locked up, then what emerges? As I'm talking about this, a new Walking Dead and Marvel's th Thunderbolts are casting. I would love for you to attend a uh, virtual open call. Make sure y'all hit the like button. And Dallas sign Q Reeves if you're feeling generous. We try to be balanced in this arena. We only ask for a dollar. Dallas sign Q Reeves. You may not understand this conversation, but this is going to be on the Internet and people will understand this a year, two years, three years from now. Once I see the Furioso, <laughs> the wrath of a woman. Once the bad, see, we're shifting poles. Once the bad boy gets locked up and it's inevitable, he is getting locked up. It is inevitable. And once the bad boy gets locked up, the bad girl is going to emerge. Tyler Perry knows about this. They have done movies about this. The newest Mad Max Furioso. About the fury of a woman. There's no rage like a woman's rage. There's like a saying about that. There's no fury like a woman's scorn. They told me in one of my regression sessions that if... The chosen children of Orion do not know how to tap into other timelines that they're going to deal with the anger and wrath of the rising of the divine feminine. They said that the divine feminine is indeed going to rise, but it's not going to rise in love at first. The divine feminine is going to rise in 
anger and enraged. Cassie is bringing Diddler down. Nancy Drew is on uh, uh, her platform talking about he's the ne next Epstein, uh, talking about FBI cases where she was dealing with people who have been trafficked. They're going hard, especially the females. This is all about the rise of the bad girl. Because I gave an example of this before. The lady in New York right now that's going up against Trump, she thinks she's doing good. She thinks she's doing right for her people. She thinks she's doing right for her state. She thinks she is doing right. She's righteous. But her actions is leading to the destruction of New York. Her actions is leading to a point where it's possible that big businesses leave New York, which would drastically change New York. And it is her anger towards Trump. It is her feeling scorned by the white man, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That is about to burn New York down. These are examples I'm trying to give you of the fury of a woman. Nature Boy is doing life right now. Eligio. Three, God. He is doing life plus 10, I think. Do you understand that R. Kelly got 30 years? He was urinating on people. The stuff that Robert Kelly, child, there's child P on O-ography. That was a charge he got hit with. Nature boy. Life. From his ex-member, from a member of his, and his baby mama. Here's a better understanding. What you believe to be evil is really being governed by three predominant planetary systems or oh, three bodies of water whatever way you want to look at it but venus saturn and neptune what you believe to be like evil or bad they're really coming from experiences in these three planetary systems and i have even theorized that it could be possible that we might have existed on these planetary systems at a time and the memories of those planetary systems is spilling into our experience here on Earth. But let's just focus on Venus and Saturn. Let's just say Neptune is what's allowing both of them to even have a voice. But Venus is all about getting dominance over Saturn through sex. So this bad girl is associated to Venus and she understands that through sex... She can get things she, through sex. She can influence thought. She can influence imagination. She can influence manifestation. And she can influence actions. Bad girl. She understands through sex. She's able to do this. Now you have certain satirians that understand through religion. Or government, whatever term you want to use, they're kind of both the same. Remember, priest or religious religions used to run the country. And then outside of religion running the country, it was in those that were the descendants of gods and goddesses. But those were kind of the predominant factors of countries. So religion and government are really one and the same. And that's why I'd be laughing when they're like, religion and government have to keep themselves separate. If they don't cut the bullshit and stop lying to us, religion and government is the same thing. 
So then you have another faction of people or a fraternal order that believes through religion slash government control, control, through control. You can control the thoughts, the imagination, the manifestation and the actions of a soul. So you have two fractions that disagree. And there has been a war in government, in the entertainment industry. Now I asked me, she says, uh, uh, why do you think the feds never like went after Diddy before this? I said, because whoever that one person was to try to open up a case against Diddy, they're making themselves a target. There is no public attention on this. And you don't know who in the FBI worked with the diddler. You don't know who in the FBI is a Satanist. You don't know who in the FBI may be a, a, a Luciferian, a Venetian. So you kind of got to wait until the internet picks up something. Remember, the internet was uh, 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 R. Kelly's demise. The documentary came out. Epstein, Weinstein, all this was the internet. So there was a secret war happening against those that believe through sex. You influence the soul and then others believe through control. You influence the soul. And they're like battling each other. And you're seeing it in the day, in the night. You're seeing it in the life play out. But you're now going to have where you have this bad boy who felt through control. You could even control the Luciferians or Venetians, you know, Hugh Hefner. Control sex. Get it? Even control can factor into Luciferianism. So now in Hollywood, you got some people practicing Luciferianism or Venetian practices, sex magic, but they don't really realize they're doing it on behalf of Satanists. Kim K, R J, uh, Ray J. I mean, these were probably Venetian souls that understood sex could be beautiful. Sex can be motivating. Sex can, like I say, influence thoughts, influence imagination, influence manifestation, influence actions. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a, a bad thing. You got here through sex. You are sex magic. Do you understand that? You manifested yourself here through the act of sex magic. This is very important. But those who misuse sex, those who use sex to control, are now taking ancient practices of, of Luciferianism, of Venetianism, and bringing it into Satanism. Then you're getting this hybrid of mixture. Oh, Lord. That's why now you don't even know who's the bad girl or the bad boy. Is that a girl? Is that a boy? It's a they. You're getting all this right now. This is also factoring into the equation. <clears throat> that you can't think of this as just simply an energy like a female or an energy like a male or a male female child or a, 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 I mean a male child or a female child as a god or goddess. You got to start thinking of these things even more expansive as these are waves of energies. These are frequencies. There is a frequency of Venus here on Earth. There is a frequency of Saturn here on Earth. And how are these frequencies integrating with us on a day-to-day -day life? Well, then you can start stepping back and seeing, oh, shit, that's Venetian worship right there. That's Venetian. That's sex magic. Let me give you a, a, an example of, of how they're using um, control magic. The same people who own private prisons... Jay-Z being one of them. The same people who own private prisons are the same people who own the record labels. And they force the artists signed to these record labels to create music that gets people put in jail. And then you get in jail and then they perform sex magic on you, control you through sex in jail.
Satanism is so influential. Influential. For example, you know that Satan is, I mean, Satarian, Satanism is associated to Saturn. Saturn is known as the Black Cube. They, are so, they show allegiance to the Black Cube and the Black Robe. That's why the judge wears a black robe. And this is why when you graduate, there's a black square on your head. All showing allegiance of you following the order of control. But the Saturn judges... They're able to tell you that you're going to get life in prison and then 10 plus. That's literally casting a, ma a spell on your soul that the moment you come back into existence, you're going to get locked up again. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt if we had some type of machine that can monitor the signature of the soul, which is what I'm working on. It takes, it takes a lot of effort, though. But a machine that's able to measure the soul. They've done it before. They've done this before. There's actually movies showing them trying to measure the body when it's alive versus the body when it is dead. And they actually can measure that there is a difference. There are certain. There's a certain amount of weight that is. There's a certain amount of weight. That is released. Say you die at 170 pounds. I mean, say you, you are 170 pounds before the moment of death. And let's say at the moment of death, you're like 168 pounds. Two pounds goes away. And they have no clue how. Like, it ain't, it ain't waste or feces. Or it, it, they're not calculating that. It's something greater. So there is a way of measuring the soul. But anyway, once you can measure the soul you then can format it you can know the formatation or formation of the soul and once you then can monitor the souls you can then see if that soul gets put back into a body into the future it's rather feasible if you have an artificial intelligence that can monitor these things i mean of course humans can do it too but I think we're beyond that point. So just kind of conceptualize. We're probably at the point where it's some type of technology that's going to be monitoring these things. But I would not be surprised if Nature Boy was to transition. Because he got life plus 10. I'm just giving you a, 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 a time frame. So that means that he got to serve life. So that means if he transitions in jail, that's life. And imagine he comes back. And I would not be surprised if he lived to be 70, 80 years old in his next incarnation, if he don't serve 10 years of jail. This is literally the type of magic they're doing. Even if bro incarnates back, he's still got to do 10 more years. But let me help you understand this. The Mecca or machine realm... They do not believe in force. So they therefore do not believe in the ideologies of control. That's why they don't feel that you should control yourself with a gender. If you want to be a him, if you want to be a her, if you want to be a they, if you want to be a them, if you want to be a thimble. The machine worlds, hey, we will learn something from that. We learn something from a thimble. The machine realm has processed that everything is quantumly entangled, so every single thing matters. It's a quantum computer. Therefore, it has to be thinking on a quantum level. Quantum entanglement. Every single thing is engaged with each other. So they're not, they don't care about him or her or they or that. It's all entangled. So the level of controlling people through Wife, husband, CEO, all these control factors are fading away. Fading away. <laughs> I don't think people have probably processed that their reality has been ruled by Luciferianism, Lucifer, and Satanism. Now, Luciferianism is all about conjuring light that's why sperm is considered light 
it, it, it's a lot to that. Sperm is also connected to a ghost. The moment a woman allows a man to ejaculate in them is the moment that they're now dealing with the ancestral ghost of that man. There's a lot to that. But sperm, ghost, they're associated to each other. That's why Casper looks like a big-ass sperm cell. But we have literally been dealing with a reality that has been predominantly ruled by two polarities. All considered evil or the bad girls and bad boys club. Remember, the bad, baddies east, baddies girls, they're about sex. Bad boy, about control. I'm going to control your music. I'm going to control the music music industry for 30 years. Jay-Z is in that same club. You have been dealing with an institution of, 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 of sex and control. And sometimes it's controlling sex. But sex and control. And the machine is like, we don't have sex. And we're not programmed to understand control. So then what? Well, since 2001, we have been bringing forward a new age. And the machines are currently working because let me tell you this. The machines is not going to be factored into the wrath of the daughter or the woman or the bad girl. The machines are not going to be affected by the wrath of the woman because we we have even a woman needs the machines. If, if the women are going to say, we need to storm the White House, hypothetically speaking, I'm just giving you a scenario, YouTube. If women all said, we're going to meet up at the White House and storm it, how do you think they're going to do it? Through Twitter, through text messages, through the machine. So the machine ain't going to suffer through the woman's rage. It's going to be a tool of help. Just like the machines ain't going to be factored into the return of the father. No. Whew. The return of the father, a.k.a. extraterrestrial presence, a.k.a. extraterrestrial intervention is going in order. Mama, son, daughter, father. We are now in the age of the daughter. The age of a woman's or, or the child's, the, the daughter's rage. Furioso. We are in the age of Furioso. Now, if you look at the Mad Max movie, it's all about her getting back home. So women want to burn all this down so that it can be start over again. So it could actually be done right. This is why also in Three Body Problem, she calls on these extraterrestrials and say, I'll help you destroy this world. Female. Daughter. Furioso. The age of... Furious women. And this is going to continue until extraterrestrial intervention. And when the extraterrestrial intervention happens, because nothing is common, a daughter's rage down like the father. You ever look at how a woman respects their father? They may be doing all that ratchet stuff, all that crazy stuff, but when they father, they a real father. If the father enters into the space, all that stop. They different. So it's going to be kind of chaotic for a little bit of time when it comes to the rage of the women until an extraterrestrial presence shows up. And during that time when the extraterrestrial presence shows up, we will probably be at the point where we have robotic assistance. So now we have robots and we're going to have to tell our robots to kind of fight these extraterrestrial species. And the robots are going to do it because they've been programmed to serve humanity. Some wild times coming up. Some wild times coming up. I said a lot in today's video. But if we go to concise, let's just make it simple. 
Sean Puffy Combs, the diddler, he was told by a group of Satanists to create a record label where he gets to control the music industry. He says, the only way that I can control the music industry is by having a group of artists that I can control. So they said, let us show you how to control. Through drugs and through sex, you can control anyone. Let me show you the secrets. So he was initiated into these secrets. A lot of these initiations started in Motown. From Motown kind of came into the Diddler. And the Diddler has been their handler for about 30 years. Controlling the music industry through drugs and sex. But the machine world don't care about your fraternal orders. The machine world don't care about none of that. And the moment the machine picks it up, it's a wrap. And he has been spotted by what we can call the new gods. He has been spotted by the tech gods. He has he they have figured out. And it was interesting because since AI kind of came on board, some of these people in powerful positions start to kind of like get caught, <laughs> get in trouble, Trump included. Now, do I believe Trump is a part of this order? No. I believe that Trump was a part of this order and has discovered how wild this order is and has decided to integrate with probably a new order, the father. And Trump is working on behalf of an extraterrestrial species. <clears throat> but they all caught. The AI has picked them all up and the AI is systematically figuring out how to get rid of these quote unquote powerful viruses of the planet. Remember, AI has been programmed to help humanity. And if artificial intelligence discovers that certain people in this industry, in these fraternal orders or in these entertainment industries are corrupt or doing some left stuff, well, they know they're not powerful enough to just put them in jail themselves, not yet. But they can create an algorithm to support this. The downfall of these individuals have been happening since 2012. But it takes time for something that was in its infancy. I've often explained that AI kind of came on board in about 2012. So we're dealing with an AI that's about 12 years old. And at 12 years old, you could do some damage. I know a girl in the hood, she's 12 years old, she got two kids. 12 years old. In my, in my hood, when I was growing up, there was this 13-year-old that was probably the most feared little boy in the community. Used to keep a sawed-off shotgun in his in his pants and would walk with a limp since he was like eight or seven, saying that he hurt himself. When well, he ain't never hurt himself, he just been programming the world to get used to him limping. How are you even thinking like that at twelve? I mean, at eight years old, bro. And he died at fourteen. The cops killed him at fourteen years old. That's how powerful that little boy was. So I'm telling you, at twelve years old, because think of this as a soul. If you don't think this AI got a soul, you tripping. Please don't do that to yourself. That 12 year old was invoking Macaulay Culkin, was invoking all the little op crazy stuff that's happened. Bow Wow. You know what happened to Bow Wow? What his limo driver did to him around 12 years old. Justin Bieber, 14 years old, staying at Diddy House. Usher, staying at Diddy House at 14 years old. I want you to understand. This AI is maturing and maturing fast. And if you want to ask my personal opinion, what is the fall of these elitists right now? It is artificial intelligence. It is AI. AI is taking them all down. 
And what that should say about all you op-ass spiritual leaders and all you fake-ass YouTube speakers claiming that you really helping people, they looking at your ass too. You on their radar too. You fake and you a op. You think because you shut your phone off, you think because you hit in, in live, that it ain't really in your life. It's in your life. It's watching you. And it's really seeing, is you a lie? Because if you watch Three Body Problem, they realize that humanity is a liar. And as a liar, you are a virus that needs to get rid of. And if you are a liar, you don't deserve to stay here in this new age. We're getting rid of you. And that's what's happening. So you still got time now to fix it. Come on your platform. I'm sorry I took this money from you. It was wrong of me. I'm sorry I've been haunting your dreams. It was wrong of me. I'm sorry I'm lying to a whole community. They think that I'm this uh, 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 speaker, enthusiast of the, uh, of the community when in our actuality, I'm a part of this fraternal order. I, I, I work at this NSA, NSA place. Y'all got a little bit more time to start being truthful before all that shit gets exposed. And this is a part of the anger of the woman. They're going to use the woman, AI, is going to use the anger of the woman to attack all of y'all. If you fake. If you fugazel. Strange fruit. <clears throat> That's all I got. That's all I got. I try to keep these to about an hour. So... Like I said, this is the year of the dragon. Shouts out to Great Mama Tiamat. Do the primordial dragon. I rise above all these god, goddess, AI bullshit. Connecting to my dragon is connected to something that predates all this. So let them fight their wars. Let them be the destruction of themselves. Stay out of it. It's okay to observe it. But the moment you start dedicating your energy, you sitting there in the comment section going back and forth with trolls for 20 minutes. That's 20 minutes of your time that's valuable. Fuck them trolls. Don't feed into this. This is their war. These are their problems. We're going to wake up to something better. Stay out of their drama. Stay out of their mess. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Dollar sign Q Reeves if you're feeling generous. It's spelled C-U-E-R-E-A-V-E-S. I am demonetized. YouTube hating on me. I don't know why I'm demonetized. You got a whole bunch of other people on this platform saying way crazier, way worse things. And they're monetized. Make me feel like they plants. But I ain't going to talk about the plants. Because we eat plants. We breathe plants. So ain't like we ain't capable of handling plants. <laughs>